it's time for another theory. Get it? Another, like, the name. You know what? This is the best intro I could come up with, and I'm sticking with it. Well, here's something people have wanted me to cover since I started Anime Theory. I mean, it makes sense, the show's a horror anime that has a crazy plot, so you'd think coming up with a theory for it would be really easy. Well, considering it took me this long, it clearly wasn't. I literally only came up with the idea for this theory three years after watching this show, and I only came up with it since I was re-watching for a video completely unrelated to this. So yeah, to re-catch people up on it, since it's been quite a while since it originally released, Another is a horror anime from 2012. It features the students of Class 3 of Yomiyama North, including the likes of the main character Koichi Sakakibara, obvious best girl Mei Misaki, and Izumi Akazawa, the class's chief of countermeasures, and other cannon fodder for the big curse of Class 3. The curse is said to kill off at least one student or family member of a student each month while the curse is active. Not really a fun learning environment, kind of makes you wonder exactly why the town keeps putting students in a class that massacres them every year, but whatever, that's not what we're talking about. Now, normally, it's the job of the chief of countermeasures to try and stop the curse from destroying the class, but oh boy, Izumi is probably the worst one the school has ever had, and not just because of the obvious reasons. Because, as we're gonna find out today, she didn't just fail spectacularly at stopping the curse, but she may have actually caused the curse to get even worse. Oh yeah, I'm serious, her dumb decision making actually killed even more people than normal. What was this blunder? Well, stick around. It's time to go after another character since it seems like that's half of my content now. Let's get started. So yeah, even before we get to the real meat of the theory, it needs to be said that she's absolutely incompetent even before this. Despite having the ability to tell Koichi that he shouldn't talk to Misaki at all well before any of this would have become a problem, she just figures not doing the very job she's supposed to do is a good idea. And when Koichi gets curious and begins talking to her, as obviously would happen in this kind of bizarre case, she decides to continue keeping him in the dark. She had dozens of opportunities to potentially warn him, but no, I do that. It's not like she's responsible for making sure everybody lives or anything. And then she goes on to blame it on Misaki constantly when she's not really the one at fault here. I know that the curse technically started before Koichi talked to Misaki when Misaki's cousin died, but Izumi didn't know that. In her eyes, Koichi talking to Misaki caused the calamity, and despite having every opportunity to rectify the situation, she just sat by and glared. So yeah, incompetent is certainly one way to describe her performance already. So, of course, after the calamity had already begun, she attempted to try and rectify the situation. Little did she know that said decision would not only not help at all, it would do the reverse. It actually worsened the curse. What am I talking about exactly? Well, let's look back, shall we? Now, normally, the way to prevent the curse from happening is to make one person in the class not exist. Basically, everyone needs to ignore this person entirely. This is because the roster normally has an additional ghost who wasn't supposed to be on the roster to begin with. While this charm they created only has about a 50% success rate so far, it's still the only way Class 3 can hopefully avoid the curse's effects. Misaki was supposed to be the non-existent person that year, meaning everyone was supposed to ignore her. Of course, since no one explained this to the transfer student Koichi, he of course began talking to her. Since to the class it seemed like the curse only began after this, Koichi and Misaki were blamed for the curse starting. So, Izumi in her brilliant mind had an idea to try and fix the charm. She basically made it so that not only was Misaki non-existent, but Koichi was non-existent as well. That should totally work, right? Well, no, that wasn't the point of the charm to begin with. The charm was supposed to make the number of students normal to counteract the curse. Instead, they've now actually made the number lower than the normal amount, which doesn't sound like a good idea to begin with. You've essentially negated the entire point of the charm to begin with. Congrats. And would you believe me if I said that this charm actually made things even worse? Well, let's look at the facts. In past years, the curse would not exactly have a massive death toll by comparison. The range of numbers we get go from the lowest amount of deaths in a year, 8 in a year where the curse stopped halfway, up to the highest number mentioned being 16 deaths in a year. 
Considering that at least one person dies each month during a 12 month period, this would mean that in general, the average amount of deaths in a month usually wouldn't go greater than two. There doesn't seem to be any massive surges in deaths, and that only makes sense. If the curse kills off 20 people in one month, there aren't really going to be many students left. And this year, the average seems fairly consistent with that amount. Leading up to the point where they make Koichi non-existent, there only appears to be about one to two deaths per month. Gruesome or not, it's pretty consistent up to that point. After the new charm, however, things fall apart very quickly. Starting with the teacher, Mr. Kubadera, who ends up killing his own mother and then himself, there are five more deaths throughout the month of July leading up to the class trip. Remember, before this point, it was only one or two max. Then suddenly, right after this dumb charm Izumi made, one that literally goes against what the charm was originally supposed to accomplish, seven people die in a month. That's quite a steep jump considering. And that's saying absolutely nothing of the absolute disaster that was the class trip. In August, the class visited this mansion in an effort to hopefully figure out how the previous class managed to stop the curse halfway through the year. Over the course of legit less than 24 hours, another 10 deaths occurred. 10 deaths because of the curse. That's three more than all of July, and this was all in one day. That doesn't even mention the several events that almost killed several others. If the curse hadn't been stopped that night, it likely would have been even higher. I don't even think it needs to be said, but this is way, way above the average of previous years. The most we ever heard about people dying on the class trip was about two people in the year where the curse was stopped. This means that over the course of just a mere month and a half, there was a total of 17 deaths. That's not only more than any of the previous months combined that year, but it's also higher than even the highest total of deaths from the previous years as well. At the rate things were going, the entire class would have vanished by the end of August. But man, why would there be this massive jump suddenly? It's almost like there was a botched charm made by an idiot that happened to occur right before the deaths skyrocketed. Hmm... So yeah, Izumi isn't a tragic character. She acted like an idiot the entire show, ignoring a clear problem and then blaming others because she didn't do her job correctly. Then her one act to try and save things as the chief of countermeasures, a decision made with little thought put into what made the charm work in the first place, ended up only strengthening the curse they were dealing with. She didn't kill the curse, she nurtured it instead, and it ended in the deaths of over a dozen students who, in previous years, would have at least had a shot at surviving, including herself. She's almost as dumb as the town that still even allows these kids to go to a school like this in the first place, but that's just a theory, an anime theory, I said it again, hooray. And hey, if you liked the video, why not like the video and I'd subscribe, I guess. I got other theories coming up and, you know, hey, why don't you click that bell for notifications, that'd be great. Anyways, I got a Death Note video coming up sooner or later and a video on Mob Psycho, so I hope you guys enjoy that. See you later.